What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Boomsday back again with another how-to video and today we're going to be building a sodium battery, okay? Um, over the past couple of years online, especially in the car audio community, we've seen tons of different uh, lithium banks uh, go on sale and be the hot topic like LiPo4, LTO, etc. Um, and right now the hot thing is sodium. So um, the folks over at Shriko Battery, um, by the way they're not sponsoring any of this, um, the, the good folks at Shriko Battery They've uh, actually been doing a whole lot of research and development, and this is what we got from their research and development for Car Audio. Um, and it's cool because they've put a whole little kit together for you guys um, if you buy straight from them. Um, and I just go over what, what comes with the kit and everything real quick. Um, so it comes with uh, bars, enough bars and hardware to do the uh, assembly, obviously. It comes with uh, a positive and negative sticker to put on there, as well as a balancer. All right, And a balancer box, looks like, to put on there to put it all together. All right. Um, the cool thing about these bars that I see, first things I noticed, is that on these ones, you can tell these are for the ends because they have multiple holes for you to tie your wires down and your lugs down to. Whereas these ones, you can tell those are like the, the middle bars because they're spaced differently. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I like that. So you can see the difference. All right. Also, too, um, they send two different lengths and hardware, lengths of hardware. And again, you can see the differences. Those are going to be for the middle. These are going to be for the outside, as you can already probably tell. All right. So, yeah. So, that's just an overview of what comes in this little kit. Uh, so, without further ado, I'll go ahead and start building up the bank, show you what, how I do, how I build banks, what I usually do, uh, some tips, some tricks, things to look out for. So, uh, let's get started. All right. So, on these cells, um, they give you the overview on them. The how many, how much voltage, how many app hours, etc. on the side there, as well as a negative and a positive. Now, generally speaking, they do it pretty good, but I'm real kind of suspect sometimes. So what I like to do, I always, always, always take a multimeter or some kind of source to check voltage and make sure that the positive is on the positive side and the negative is on the negative side. Hey, we're all human. We all make mistakes. The guy could have wrapped it wrong one day, and you would hate to sit. I, I would hate to see somebody hook up their stuff and something bad happen because of something, you know, something that could have been avoided, you know. So what I like to do is always every single cell, I check them all, and generally what I do is I take a piece of masking tape and I write down the voltage of each cell on the outside. Okay, so for example, this cell here is reading 3.81, so I'd write 3.8 on it. So take a piece of masking tape, tear it off. This also helps when you're trying to build the banks together. From what I've noticed, obviously you want to put them closer, the ones that are closer together, together. So it was 3.8. So just write 3.8. So 3.8 volts. So I know it, I already know what this cell is reading at. And also, like I said, the black on these are your negative. The silver side is your positive, generally. But always, always check, okay? All right. All right. Now comes the fun part for some people and the intimidating part for others, all right? We're gonna start assembling the bank, all right? So after you've identified your positive side as well as your negative side, also you've checked your voltages on all of your cells to make sure everything's good, you don't have any dead cells, bad cells, or anything like that, it's time to start, again, assembling the bank, all right? Now generally what I like to do is I start on my ends first, all right? It's the easiest way to do it for me, all right? You know you're gonna have a positive end as well as a negative end, all right? So you can't really, I can't say you can't mess it up, but it's gonna be hard to mess up the end. So all you would do is check, line them up like that and put your screw straight into it, okay? So for example, again, you take your screw, and in this case, they provide everything for it, right in the hole, and just screw it down. And what I like to do is kind of hand tighten it on first before I sit in there and take a drill or anything or even Allen's and tighten it down real tight. So boom. And what we're going to do next, you're going to take the full row like this and make it positive, okay? So remember, the side that has your lug ends, that's going to be a full side of positive or negative depending on which side you're on, okay? So again, lug side, all positives. Or lug side, it'd be all negatives, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish wiring this up. Wiring. Go ahead and finish building this. I'm sorry. <laughs> All 
All right. So now you have a whole positive side done, all right? And like I said, I'll go back through with the Allen and tighten all these down when we're done. So what I like to do now is just go ahead and set this one to the side because it's done. You don't need to touch it until we connect everything together, all right? So I'm gonna do the same thing with my negative side. So remember, the one with all the terminals is the whole side negative or whole side positive. So I'm gonna put all my negatives on this one, all right? So it's gonna be something like that and we'll meet in the middle, okay? All right, let's get to work. All right, and just like that again, you have all your negatives. So now, I have my negative uh, bank as well as my positive bank ready to go. And then we're gonna have two more banks to meet in the middle. This is a 4S setup, meaning you have one, two, three, four. Positive, negative, positive, negative, okay? That's how it's gonna lay out. All right. So let's keep on a going and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, so after you have your positive uh, bank together and your negative bank together, you're gonna be left with three more bars, okay? The remaining three bars are gonna be used to hook up the rest of the batteries, all right? So again, these ones are the ones that are spaced evenly. These don't have the spots for all the lugs or the wirings to be hooked on to, okay? So these are going to be your middle bars is what I call them. You got two on the bottom, one on the top, okay? Now, these ones are going to be a little different than the other uh, banks that we just did, okay? These ones are going to have a positive and negative on each side. Now, I know this is where it confuses a lot of people, but I'm going to try to be as straightforward and as easy with this as I can, okay? You're going to do one side full of positive one side full of negative all right and don't be scared you can touch them together like that it's not going to do anything until you hook it all up and when it hooks all up it should energize up to 12 volts or 13 volts or whatever you're resting at okay so again i'm gonna show you exactly how i do this you have your negative side and your positive side okay you're gonna have a whole row full do not alternate this at all do not alternate you got a whole row of positive okay so we're gonna make a whole nother row of positives nothing but So again, on the bars that are evenly spaced, you're gonna have one side that are positive and one side that are negative. Do not alternate, do not mix them up, okay? So this whole side here is going to be a negative, okay? So we're gonna take these, flip them up, negative. Look, see, not scary, okay? So after you have all your positives and your negatives on the center bar, it's time to attach them to your other two bars you've already made, all right? So again, it should be positive, negative, positive, negative, with the whole row being a negative or a positive. Do not alternate, do not switch them. Do not put two positives together. Do not put two negatives together. They should alternate, okay? Just like so. So now all I'm going to do now is flip them upside down and attach the bottom two plates and we're done, all right? So let's get to it. It should be a whole row of negatives, whole row of positives, whole row of negatives, whole row of positives. All right? So now all we do is connect all of these together. And there's easier ways to do this. But for the sake of the video, this makes it easier for you guys to see it being done. And they're not falling off. Okay, we're good. Just like that. And just screw them all down.
done, your bank is complete. Now, definitely I'm finna go back over it, tighten it all down, make sure everything's nice and tight. Uh, actually, now would be a good time to actually check the voltage. And make sure we're reading. It's a 12 volt battery, so. Yeah, so I'll show you guys on camera. So you can see, I don't know if it picks up, but there you go. We're going to write it 12.95. So definitely going to put it on the charger. Charge it up. And see where we're at with it. So after you got the bank completely assembled, it's now time to attach your balancer, all right? Now, I know attaching a balancer can be kind of intimidating for some people, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, so first thing first, we're gonna use the one that came provided with the kit. Now, there are a couple different balancers you can use, but we're just gonna use the one that came with the kit. It's a Heltec, if I'm not sure if I said that a second ago, but the Heltec balancer. Um, it's pretty straightforward on how to install and hook this up. So I'm gonna show you now. In the kit provided, they do give you all the ring terminals needed. So take your ring terminals and attach, solder, crimp, however you want to get it down. Get it down on the end there. And then the next thing you would do is attach it to your negative bus bar here, okay? So black or negative, negative bus bar, okay? And the reason that I know it's the negative is because if you, trans, if you look back on the balancer here, where it plugs in at, the black one goes into the B minus or the negative, okay? Pretty straightforward like I said, all right? So the black wire goes on the negative busing, like that. The next wire, which is the green wire, would go on the bottom corresponding right here. So just like so, you would attach. The middle wire, which is this yellow wire here, goes in the, on the middle bus bar right here, just like that. The white one, again, the next one, pick it back up goes right there on the bottom there. All right. And the last one, this red one here, you guessed it, goes right there on the positive bus bar. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and hook up all this busing. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the balancer and we're going to go ahead and get back, all right? the battery done got the balancer wired up as you can see the light's still on positive side negative side i've already charged it up it's reading at like 15 5 volts right now um the customer's going to come back later we'll paint the battery box later on um but right now yeah we're ready to rock and roll guys all right until next time